Firstly, a big thank you to EA Sports for the early access to FIFA 22, and this video is presented by the EA Creator Network. Hey there guys, and welcome to Zero to Hero, my FIFA 22 Ultimate Road to Glory. Today, we're going to pack an extinct player. We begin our FIFA 22 Road to Glory today with the transfer list. And I keep saying it, I want to get to 50 million coins. That is the big goal, maybe even more. How many coins do you think you make every FIFA, guys? Bit of a question of the day there. Let me know. Anyway, we do kick things off there, guys, with a few players who did sell. I'm keeping hold of that Thomas Lamar card. There are a certain few cards, most likely in the Premier League in maybe even league one probably in the bundesliga and la liga that could be good to buy now and then sell for more when the game does release the only concern i've got with that a bit of a risky trading method because you never really know is that there are there's probably more supply than ever before thanks to the pre-order fifa points bonus with those fifa points People are now putting those players right onto the market to build their starter team. By the way, firstly, if you guys want to see my first starter team on the next video, smash the like button. Can we get 7,000 likes in the first two hours? That would be insane. Thank you guys for the support. Anyway, we go on here, guys. And as that guy just say there, and it makes like, it makes a lot of sense. So this guy says, I don't think that the 400 coin bronze packs are going to return, but we'll only, guess, we'll only find out when the game fully releases. And that's a very valid point. And speaking of bronze packs, I started to do the 750 coin bronze pack method, which I believe was very good maybe two days ago. However, as I did this today, guys, it didn't really go that well. I think silver players are now going to be more beneficial to trade with if you guys can grind even the foot draft even for example just snipe some silver players maybe like english players maybe silver players with good pace they're really selling well so definitely guys have a check on the web app have a check on your fifa 22 early access or full game to see if you've got silver players that are just chilling in your club you don't need them try and sell them a very nice amount of coins i've made quite a few thousand coins here guys today just trading with silver players they really are trading well now another um big i guess announcement that ea did drop is that marquee matchups did release now if you can this is probably going to be one of the best marquee matchups of the year in terms of coins i think it's like 20k to build however they've actually catered these marquee matchups really for everyone starting fifa 22 myself included you guys included as you can see there i actually do have quite a number of premier league players which is very very beneficial on a road to glory at the beginning of the game as that means that we do not need to spend many coins if any at all we did do in the end to make sure that we get it right i think it might not be for this spc it might be for hybrid nations but for the marquee matchups I had a lot of Premier League players just from grinding the game and it's a great feeling when you can get an SBC done for zero coins, right? It's always what we want to do on Ultimate Team. We do not want to spend any coins at all, really. We want to try and get the best players in the world just from grinding the game. And yes, guys, today, I'm not joking, I really did, did pack. I really, truly did. You'll see it. Pack an extinct player. You're going to see it sometime today. Anyway, we carry on here with um, a bit more grinding going on. This is really a stage of FIFA when there's a lot of transfer market activity for people like myself on the road to glory. You guys are going to be the same. We spend a lot of time on the menus. And it really is beneficial in terms of learning player prices right now. The only weird thing is I do expect the prices to go up probably less so than I anticipated. But they should go up still when the full game releases. And I am banking on that, to be honest. But it's always been the pattern in the last few FIFAs, especially. FIFA, 20, FIFA 21, I never forget. I bought Alan for 19k, sold him for 75k when the game dropped a week later. Like, his price kept rising to like 30, 40, 50, 60k. He eventually got to like 83,000 coins when the game dropped. However, there weren't FIFA points at the beginning, so... It, it might be the case that it will be less than that, but still, definitely look for those players who you think are just simply too cheap. Even if they're in like La Liga, 
Players like Morales, players like maybe even Carrasco, potentially Fernandez from Real Madrid. Look at Eder Militao's price as well. Keep track of how much they'll be. Militao's expensive, but still, there are other good options. Maybe even look in the Bundesliga guys as well for those pacey players. Have a look at Open Meccano's price. Will he stay at like 20k? Or maybe he'll go to like 30k when the game drops. It's very interesting. Anyway, marquee matchups though, guys. As I said before is absolutely worth your time doing. Even if, if you can get this done, spend all of your coins on this, guys, I would recommend trying to maybe, maybe spend max 15k on these marquee matchups if you can. Even if you spend everything you've got on these marquee matchups, you should be making a nice coin return. We actually got very lucky with these marquee matchups. So this is really, I guess, my first proper pack opening in terms of the zero to hero road to glory on fifa 22 ultimate team where we've actually grinded a lot of the spcs but we've actually got really quality pack returns you're gonna see what grinding the game can get you guys i mean it's gonna be crazy this year not spending any fifa points on any account other than the pre-order bonuses and it's kind of crazy to see the difference between two accounts on this road to glory with the fifa point packs we weren't exactly truly lucky. Whereas my main account, I got Timo Werner, who's like 80,000 coins. I believe we got, I think we might have got Militao and a few other good players like that. I think we might have got Lukaku as well. So it really is telling like how different one account can be to the next one. But anyway, this is my main account for this FIFA. This is why I want to make sure that this series is hopefully good fun and quality for you guys. And we do get lucky. This guy, I did not think would be 3,000 coins but he is so just from that pack alone guys i've made quite a number of coins there we could even get potentially four thousand coins for his silver french card there and a very nice return and that's what i'm saying guys if you want to go and do the silver pack method which might not always pay out i've not fully tested it yet maybe we can do that on tomorrow's episode but i really want to see if maybe the silver pack method is the new bronze pack method at this current stage i believe there's like a silver milestone where if you win i think it's like five games 10 games 15 games and 20 games i think the same can be said for bronze um milestone then you get like a 50k pack so it's really that could be why the silvers are very expensive but this guy there julio did say hey matt i bought sissoko for 8k hopefully he'll get, he goes up in price his max by now is 80 Five thousand coins i mean can you imagine you guys buy sissoko for like ten thousand coins on the release day he goes up to even 30k imagine you buy like 20 sissoko cards that is exactly why i really to be honest need to get to a hundred thousand coins fast then invest nearly all of it in one or two players that i just know will go up in price on launch day and the launch week sissoko to be honest is a great recommendation there from julio there guys so thank you to julio there for the sissoko recommendation i might do that myself i might go look at dharma Chiore again he was i believe like 20k on day one i believe he might have gone up in price since then we'll check that today actually in fact i'll check that now while the gameplay is shown there but yeah you've really got to look at like what players potentially are going to be very meta you know those pacey center backs seem to be a very very um good shout right now so Adama Chiore guys at this current time has actually gone down a lot wow maybe I know why I think on day one of FIFA 22 when we luckily got access thanks to a sports guys he was 20k he's only 8.4 his finishing is 66 which is a hold on yeah not 56 66 finishing but 8.4k for Adama Chiore does seem a bit too cheap at this current time in my opinion anyway the next pack guys i do get very lucky there getting an 84 rated uh carrasco and it's a nice card i think that's his best ever rated gold card and obviously i could keep hold of this card right now but i really do need to build a better team i also in general need more coins because i might need to go and complete the hybrid nation spc the hybrid leagues spc and once we complete those panels, we get 50k packs, rare mega packs. At this current time, I've still not packed my first walkout. So preferably today, we can get that 
on this series. Anyway, we crack on though with the next pack here, guys, which I believe is a mixed player pack. But before that, I think we have sold a few players. And already, guys, we're up to 23,000 coins. If we didn't buy any players or any SBC cards, we'd probably be about 70, maybe 75,000 coins, maybe less, maybe like 60k. But yeah, today though is really a day of trading. I'll be trading all day to try and get the coin total up, guys. And as always, I'll be showing you every step of the way. I really want to show you guys some nice tips and tricks here to help you get more coins. Remember, this road to glory is as much your road to glory, zero to hero, as mine, right? This is your team. It's my team. It's all our teams. Anyway, we do get this guy from Germany and a nice, that's actually a lovely bronze card. If Harry is doing another mad bronze for champions like team video that guy from germany might need to be in his team that's a cracking bronze card there but anyway we do get reynan ribeiro there the brazilian goalkeeper and again do not just store these silvers and forget about them for months you want to be selling these silvers guys to get the most coins possible they are going for like at least 500 coins right now and if you do if you do start the silver pack method which is literally buying silver packs for seven how much is it i think it might be 750 coins or maybe 1000 coins and let's say you get two or three players in one pack you've made profit every time with the current silver transfer market every silver card guy seems to be going for a good price um, at least the ones I've been packing, they've been going for some nice coins. But we do get Brahim there, former Man City player, right? Back in the day. And again, like, look at this, guys. I mean, yeah, look at this prices. You really want to be selling these cards. A lot of you might have some spare silver cards in your club. And you're like, oh, you know, I did not realize. And well, there you go. Go and check your club, guys. Silver cards are going for some nice coins. And especially... When we all want like a decent, I guess, squad battles, starter team, you know, you want a decent starter team for your division rivals experience and you want to get those coins, right? You probably do want about 20k to build like a nice starter team. For me, a starter team is probably max around 25k at the beginning of this game, maybe 30k, I'd say maybe 25k. So you really do want those nice starter teams right and that's a good way of getting those coins focus on what are set focus on the milestones and what could be required if you go to objectives take a look at the milestones that are needed for those packs and you go from there guys honestly you will make a lot of coins if you focus on these silver items right now they really are paying off and again i always say guys if there is a preview pack on the store and let's say it's a 150 fever point pack Open the preview pack. If it's not anyone good, leave it like Pepe there for me wasn't great. However, if you pack a player who is above like 7.5k, maybe they're 15k, try and get the coins for the pack, then you've made 7.5k in profit. Just from doing a preview pack. You never know um, what you can get. But this is um, a gold player pack there, guys. We do get, and these gold player packs are very good after time. Like, what do I mean by that? If you open like three or four, you're eventually going to get someone good. This pack, though, um, was actually someone good. So, McKenney, who nearly transferred to Burnley, I think, he is actually about 3,000 coins. Annoyingly, though, this was an untradeable pack, but still, the coin total, guys, is going up there to 26.5k on the road to glory today. And yeah, I'm to be honest, I said this before, this is the most fun I've ever had at the beginning of a new FIFA. Seriously, more so than FIFA 14, FIFA 17. This is the most fun I've had, and especially on a road to glory. Now, a bit of a cool trading tip here, guys, that you might want to listen to. Thank you to my good friend here, Zinja, who is an amazing FIFA trader. And he was like, Matt, there's a really cool method that is uh, very... It's been... It's a very basic trading method, but could come in handy. A lot of people forget about this. Basically... If you go on the transfer market and get like a gold common um, kit for like 200 coins, maybe 150 coins if you can on bid and then sell them for 250, you've obviously made about, I think it's about 38 coins per kit if you manage to sell the gold common kit for 250. So if you can bid on the kits for like 200 coins, usually 200 coins, sell them for 250 or even quick sell them 
you've made profit. Basically, if you get this gold common kit, guys, for 200 coins, sell the gold common kit for 250, that's 30 coins per kit, which is not many, but over time that does add up quite a number of coins to your club. Also, if you do just quick sell, let's say you manage to buy 50 gold common kits and then you quick sell every one, I believe it's 17 coins profit per kit. So it's a pretty, pretty uh, basic trading tip there, but could be handy for you guys if you need maybe a few hundred more coins over time. And it's really simple. If you just go and bid on these kits there for 200 coins every time, you'll most likely win, I would say, 6 out of 10. Then you can maybe sell them for 250 if you're very patient. There are so many lazy buyers, guys, already. Anyway, Tyler there just say there, Hey, man, I'm glad you can't see the record. Makes me not care as much about losing, not being able to see it. I, I get both points of view. I've always liked being proud of the record, but to be honest, I think it adds a bit less seriousness to the game. In a way, it makes you think, oh... Let's, let's just have fun no matter what, right? You don't need to be bothered about the record. And you can still see the record if you go in your club. So I actually do like it. it. Weirdly, I think in the Road to Glory in FIFA 21, we finished with like a four win loss ratio, which is my best ever. I think I had like 900 wins and 220 losses. So it was a really cool record. At this current stage, I am nowhere near getting that level yet. I'll be honest, I'm still learning the game. There is a lot to learn. I believe yesterday I did say that finesse shots are not as good as power shot, and although that is true, it's not true in terms of the perfectly timed green time finesse shots. Guys, if you can learn green time finesse shots, and shout out to my very good friend Vibe, who's a pro player and pro FIFA coach, basically, green time finesse shots are broken. You want to be using them. Anyway, first walkout, and we get Castile's 86 rated. Castiles, guys, and I know I could keep hold of his card, but with the coin total, keep you know, with it keeping keeping on rising on zero to hero, I really want to get the um, yeah, the this pack done. I believe that was after the was that after I think that was after marquee matchups or hybrid nations, guys. Either way, we spent like about I think it was about 15k on some more SBCs, but we have made profit from those SBCs over time. So it'll all work out in the end. But we do sell Castillo's there, guys, for about 8.3k on the market. That way, he will sell a bit faster, 8.4 to be correct. And we did also get Arthur there, who's like 2k. But again, imagine EA release like a really good player of the month SBC. You might want to keep hold of those 83 rated cards, guys. As soon as there's like a desirable SBC, those 83s could be like 5K. So again, bearing in mind how much SBCs in the past have cost at the beginning of the game when it's a very desirable one, you really might want to keep hold of those cards. Also, by the way, I think we're getting a guaranteed ones to watch pack this week. I want to say we are. I believe it's not a player pick pack anymore. I think that was altered. I believe from EA, so I need to read up on that. But anyway, guys, as you can see, we are completing more and more of the hybrid nation SBCs. These are fantastic packs that you must get completed. It's so much fun when you're starting a fresh road to glory like this one. And we're not only having a blast filming this, I love making these videos, guys, and streaming them. I, I am, by the way, starting Monday night, I will be streaming the road to glory then from there every morning guys at 11 a.m so apologies for the lack of streams at the beginning of this fifa i've been away for like six days and i know it's incredibly awkward timing but having a great time away and my dad does believe having a great time at the house looking after the dogs that's all going well and um yeah so far my dad has not made any fifa pack openings on my channel so maybe we can get my dad to make a pack opening this week that'd be pretty cool that'd be pretty fun anyway um yeah so in terms of the account we're down now to 5.2k we've spent even more coins there guys on the kits there we lost out on about four kits but we did win i believe i think it's in the end about seven or eight kits there i think it was maybe eight overall and again we've got more packs here guys to open and now these are the i believe these are the hybrid nation sbc packs now honestly you've got to get these done 
because the amount of profit we're going to make here is very, very nice. I think, well, I don't want to ruin it. We do make some nice profit, though. We also get a few duplicates. And again, never discard those duplicates, guys. Please, I'm telling you watching this video, do not quick sell those players that are duplicates. The amount of people that I see do that is crazy. However, this is a very nice pack. So it's not a great start. Fernandini, though, is about 4,000 coins. However, look at that. Upper Meccano. Come on! He is 22,000 coins on the transfer market. Really fantastic player there. Not only for your starter team, maybe not a starter team actually, maybe for your ultimate team, but a great player to sell right now, right? I think his max price is 27k. Would not be surprised if Upper Meccano does become an extinct player, guys, at the beginning of the launch day of this game. There's a lot riding on that launch week. There really is. I really want to see how much these player prices will go up in price. Also, you've got to use this, guys, to your best ability. Definitely use Footbin for completing SBCs. However, do be careful when you're buying the bronze players. A big thanks to the guys in Footbin for the help with these SBCs. But again, we do get lucky again. Zapata is not the best player. We get Allen, who is 18, maybe 19k. Again, he might go up in price being a Brazilian Centre mid, very desirable, very good Premier League CDM, guys. I think he might even double in price. We, we yet to see that um, yet, but I wouldn't be surprised. If he goes up to like 35k, I really wouldn't be surprised. That's my big, bold, I guess. Big, bold, I guess, what do you call it? Like uh, call ahead of this new launch day, you know, with Alan maybe going to. I guess bold prediction is the word I'm looking for. For Alan. Anyway, we get even more profit there, guys, with Reese James selling there. So just some two packs from marquee matchups, guys. We've probably made about 55,000 coins, maybe 50k from those hybrid nation SBCs. And that's what I'm saying, guys. We spent, I think we spent around 20k on those. And we've just got 50,000 coins in return. Maybe even 60k if you were to keep hold. Maybe even 70k, 80k if you were to keep hold of those cards for the launch week. And yeah, we move on though. We've sold some players here, guys, I believe. Eventually, I've still got those Lamar cards. I got those like, was it 1,000, 1,400 coins? I think he might go to like 5k when the game does launch. But there's Alan, man. He is going to be on the market, guys, for 19.2k. Fernandini there. So overall, we're probably going to be at like, wow, we're going to be at about 60 to 70,000 coins. So please comment down below with the best possible, maybe 50k team that we can build and you guys can build right now. If you guys head over to Footbin, get the prices, try and build like a crazy 50k team, let me know. In fact, if you guys want to tweet me as well, I will retweet the best 50k teams after this video goes live. That'd be really cool, actually. Anyway, we do sell, I believe, a few players there. We're back to 11k, and we have won a few gold common kits. Now, you could, if you really want to, guys, just go and quick sell these items, get a few quick, easy coins. But in my opinion, I do think it's best to sell them if you can. If you can sell them for 300 coins, even better. But 250 seems to be the uh, going rate here for these um, new gold common kits. So we, that's what exactly we do. We start the bid at 200 and then buy now 300 coins. And by the end of today, hopefully, well, by the end of the hour, really, these might sell. And again, if you do want to make a few hundred coins profit, you, you'll probably make about 250 coins there give or take, if you just quick sell those. So again, it's a pretty cool tip if you really need a few hundred coins fast. It's very easy. It does not take a lot of effort at all to do this. And as you guys can see, that's very, it's really simple method. If you want to make those extra few hundred coins when you need it, it's really, really straightforward. And yeah, it's a very fun method to use. But we do sell all of, the, all of these items, guys. We do put them on the market for the transfer list to hopefully get more and more full. I haven't looked into it, but I've not looked at like what's the max amount of transfer items you can have at one go. Um, also, I'd had a really good read through the comments on the latest Road to Glory video, guys. And a lot of you guys agree, we all are unaware of whether or not the bronze pack is coming back. Is it coming back? 400 coin bronze pack. Do we know? Have EA confirmed it? I really want to see if they've confirmed it. 
Anyway, we are now at a stage, guys, where we can apply more contracts there. This is still my squad battles team, really. We've not really built our proper starter team yet, but we're about to in the next video. But as you guys can see there, we did buy Banat there for 1.3. He is, I believe, 2,000 coins right now. And hopefully, he'll be a very good price at the end of this real week of FIFA. Once we get to a very good standpoint in terms of trading and a consistent basis of trading, we're going to be making, guys, so many coins. I'm telling you, once we get those trading methods on point and we can share them with you guys, it's going to be pretty unbelievable. However, now at the end of this big pack here, guys, this is a massive one. This is a free pack. We've just packed an extinct player in Renato Sanchez. This is absolutely insane. The best pack, in my opinion. It might not be the most valuable player in terms of who he packed so far. He is up there in terms of value, value. But in terms of a player I really wanted to pack this year, it's Renato Sanchez. He is now extinct on the market. Although they are showing there with the two cards for 27.5k, he's literally an extinct player. If you go on the market, you'll not find him. You might be able to snipe him, but you've got to be so fast. The same can be said for Klosterman. Martial is, I believe, extinct. And I think there might be a few more. But yeah, we've just packed ourselves, guys, an absolutely fantastic extinct player. Now, with that being said, though, what team, what players do I build around Renato Sanchez for 50,000 coins? I'm going to probably spend 50k on a brand new starter team, guys. And let me know. Well, more of an ultimate team, really, 50k ultimate team. What players should I buy? Comment down below, guys. Leave a like for more of the Road to Glory. Subscribe. Thank you for your incredible support. And have a very special day.